another video uh, this time it's not gonna be a training video it's gonna be more of a informational video um, for all the new girls and guys that are you know going to the gym or getting into this lifestyle for whatever reason but uh, I got four things I want to talk about that every new person should keep in mind um, I wish I had these four or I wish somebody told me these four back then when I first started, but let's get started. So yeah guys, like I said, I got four things that I wrote down on my phone that I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to try not to rant so much about each one. I don't want to make this video long, but I just want to touch bases with these four things. Um, my first one is, uh, let me look for it. My first one is your why. Guys, why do you want to go to the gym? Or why do you want to change to this lifestyle, you know? Is it because you want to lose weight? Because you want to get ready for summer? New Year's resolution thing? Um, just You just want to change your lifestyle? You love this lifestyle? You, see, you love how these people live? And stuff like that? Why, guys? Why do you want to do this? And I'm going to answer these questions that way so you know what I'm talking about. My why is because... I just want to motivate people. I want to show people that it's possible. If you're dedicated to this, if you want to live by this lifestyle, it's possible, guys, to reach your goal physique, your dream physique. <clears throat> um, and also because I've always been overweight my whole entire life, except for maybe one or twice. Once or twice that uh, I did drop some few pounds, but it was... Uh, I was, I was skinny fat. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, I've always been overweight, so my why I do this is because I don't want to go back to that. I don't. And ever since I started going to the gym and seeing all these changes my body has made, I love it. I just, I'm literally addicted to the gym. I'm addicted to the iron. And I love this lifestyle. I love living by this lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> that's my why. Find your why, guys. Um, don't just go to the gym and just... That's it. Just go to the gym. Like, don't just go. Um, find why you want to go. Find why you want to keep going. Because I'll guarantee, if you just go in there and just to lift, like, you're, you're going to get bored. You're going to want to give up and do something else. Like, I'm not saying it's as exciting as going to the club. Like, 90% of the population loves to do. That's awesome. That's fun. Everybody does it. But that's why there's so many, there's so few people that could live by this lifestyle and make it. Because they're not too worried about going to the clubs, getting fucked up every weekend, partying every weekend, and, you know, <clears throat> fitting in with those, going with the flow. Um, so, yeah, guys, find your why, okay? My next one is motivation. Um, it could kind of fall in with the why, um, but... What what motivates you to go to the gym? Is it because for girls, like you see all these nice uh, females, like you know, with the nice toned stomach, nice legs, nice round butt, uh, you know, nice toned out arms and shoulders. Like you want you want that physique. You you want to look like that, and that that fuels your motivation or that fire within you to go to the gym and you know. <clears throat> just had that image in your head and be like, I want to be like that, um, or I want to be better than that, or you know what, I want, I want to look somewhat better than her, I don't know, something like that, you guys, find what motivates you, um, it could be also something like, you know, because you don't want, like, let's say your family has a history of, um, you know, diabetes or health problems, stuff like that, and you don't want to go to that, you don't want to you don't want to fall into that so what motivates you is you want to be healthy you want to be fit your whole life and you just don't want to fall into that or I don't know something like that guys what motivates me is because or also I have goals and dreams like I do I have goals and dreams that I want to accomplish 
that's what motivates me. I wake up every morning thinking, okay, I'm one day closer to my goals. Um, my goals, I'll tell you straight up, um, my goals is I want to get sponsored by clothing and supplement company. Like, who doesn't? In this, in this industry, who doesn't? You know, whoever lives this lifestyle, who doesn't want to be sponsored by a clothing company or a supplement company? You know, you know, it's not about just getting, you know, free stuff from them, but it's also, I'm not going to just go with any company. I want to go by with a company that has a good reason, you know, of a good reason behind their name. Like, you know, is it a company just because they just want to go out and sell clothes and make money? Like, no, that, I don't think I'll go with something like that or with a supplement company that is all about, you know, like the same thing, all about money and their products are all flashy and stuff like that. And it's like, no, I want to <clears throat> go to a clothing company and a supplement company that is out there to help people, you know, make people feel good about themselves and stuff like that. Um, that's my motivation. My, and also, I got more goals, you know, I want to make it big in the fitness industry, I obviously, I want to become a coach, I also want to have my own clothing company come out, um, maybe even lean towards uh, supplement companies also, um, <clears throat> I want to go pro, natural pro, and I just want to inspire people, motivate people, I want people coming up to me and being like, because of you, you know, I changed, because of you, I, I got this, you know, that, I don't know what better feeling, I don't know if there's a better feeling than that, knowing that you changed lives. You motivated people, motivated people to change their life and better themselves. So that's my motivation, guys. Find yours. Um, my next one is training. Now with training, I could go on and on about this, but with training, guys, um, now this video is for the new, the new people. Um, I know I've seen a lot and I've went through it. Um, the new guys just go in and they go into the gym and they just look around and be like, okay, what do I do? And then they just go to the dumbbells and start curling. Or they go to the flat bench and they start benching. And that's all they do. <coughs> because a lot of these people, a lot of guys mostly, and with girls, it's legs. Guys, it's obviously arms and chest. Girls, all they want to do is, oh, I just want to have a nice nice butt and legs. Okay, what about your upper body? Uh, guys, oh, man, I just want to have big arms and a big chest. Okay, what about your back, shoulders, legs, calves, forearms, traps? What about all that? So, guys and girls, um, when it comes to training, know what you're going to train and how you're going to train it. Uh, have your exercises written down have your sets and reps um, written down and also with training guys you gotta picture your body okay have an Im image of your body bodybuilding is like art okay you're the sculptor the sculptor whatever it's called you have your little hammer and your chisel I don't know I guess that's what it's called I don't know and you have this big piece of marble okay and the marble is you so Picture how you want your body to look and start chiseling away the imperfections, okay? Make it look as good as one of those Greek god statues that they have in like that they have in Italy, that they have at the museums, you know, perfect proportions, nice uh, <coughs> aesthetics to them, you know. I'm pretty sure that's every every guy's um, dream body to look like a Greek god. So, guys, don't just go in there and bust out curls or bust out a lot of reps on bench, and that's it. Like you have a ton of other body uh, body parts that you gotta work out. Like your like I said, your legs, calves, traps, back, um, shoulders, <coughs> and stuff like that. Your upper chest, also your abs, your obliques, your straightest um, lats. So yeah, guys, you have a lot of body parts to work with, so you got to know how to train those body parts. And there's a lot, like, a big website you can go to is bodybuilding.com, and they have all these workout plans. If you don't want to make up your own, you just want to follow one, they have great ones. Or if you want to do this, like, you know, be independent like I am about this, like I do my own training and my own dieting, do some research, guys. Research what 
workouts work best for those muscles or what workouts will help you reach your dream physique. So yeah guys, and also with training, know what your body responds better to. Like low volume and high volume is what I'm getting to. It. Low volume is basically where you're gonna be pushing heavy weight for low sets and low reps and low exercises. It'll be like anywhere from three to four, maybe even five exercises. But sets are gonna be from two to three maybe, max, maybe four sets. Um, but, and around, I don't know, reps would probably be anywhere from four to eight, something like that. Maybe hit the 10, maybe. High volume is gonna be obviously more than that. More, more exercises, more sets, and more reps. And that's when super sets, pyramid sets, giant sets, and all that starts coming in. So work with both guys and girls. Um, work with both and see what your body responds better to. For me, I personally like high volume. <coughs> Only because uh, with high volume, you do more than you do with low volume. And I, I don't I don't like, it's part of a mental thing, because I'm not gonna lie, I feel it with low volume, I feel it, but it's just a mental thing where I can't just go in and just do two to four exercises, maybe two to three sets, and that's it. Like I can't do that, I feel like I want, I haven't uh, done anything in the gym. So that's why I stick to high volume, and I've seen uh, results with high volume. So that's why I stick to that. So guys, find out um, what your body works with best and stick to it. Find the exercises, stick to it, your reps, your sets, and all that. And the last one is dieting. And this is part of the most important one, you guys. The part, this is what, this is what's gonna make you or break you. Because dieting is seriously the hardest part and is probably where a lot of people give up. And by dieting, I don't mean starving yourself. I don't mean eating pure vegetables and vet and salads and all this stuff. No. Dieting, <coughs> what I do is flexible dieting. So I'm going to promote flexible dieting. Flexible dieting works based off your macros, which is your fats, your carbs, and your protein. And it also calls for getting in a certain amount of fiber and your micronutrients, which is your fruits and vegetables. Um, with fruits and vegetables, you gotta get two servings of each minimum a day. So, um, <coughs> there's a lot of controversy with flexible dieting because at basic, with, with flexible dieting, it basically means you can eat almost anything you want as long as it fits your macros, okay? And with macros, um, I did a video on it already, how to find them, so if you wanna check that out, um, watch my video, it, I explained it in detail, how to find your macros. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of controversy because it, that's what it basically means. You can eat anything as long as it fits your macros. And this is when the big guys juiced up juice heads come in and be like, oh yeah, have you had your pop tart yet? Oh yeah, these guys are getting lean eating pop tarts and rice krispies and stuff. like no guys. That's not really what it's all about. Yeah. If a rice crispy and a, a damn pop tart fits in your macros, go ahead, eat it. You know. <coughs> but it's not all about that. Like I still I'll still eat some bro foods. I'll still eat my chicken and rice and vegetables. But you know, with the chicken, I'll season it um, differently. I'll throw in some fajita veggies with the rice. I'll throw in maybe some fat-free cheese on top just to make it, you know, give it some taste to it. Um, and then I'll eat, you know, Chipotle. I'll eat Moe's Southwest Grills, which is kind of somewhat like Chipotle. Um, I'll eat Chick-fil-A. I'll eat Subway. Um, breakfast, I'll have my cereal like obviously you know like I said you have to get some fiber in so I'll have like the fiber ones the special K's which um, these ones are that are called great grains or something like that which is pretty good in fiber um, so yeah and then I'll also mix it in with you know my sugary seals like uh, Reese's Puffs, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops and stuff like that I'll still have some of that because it fits my macros and I'm I'm hitting my fiber with the fiber once, 
Um, and then I also have my fruits and vegetables in, you know, to get my micronutrients. So, yeah, guys, that's what flexible dieting is about. And I chose flexible dieting only because I feel more free. Like, with a bro diet, you have to follow certain meals at a certain time and stuff like that. With, uh, if it fits your macros, you don't have to do that. You can eat two meals, three meals, four meals, five meals, one big-ass meal. Like, But that's going to be too much. Like, Who's going to eat all that food in one day in you know, a 12- to 14-hour period? Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, you don't have to follow those guidelines like you do in a bro diet. I know a lot of people, you know, are pressed for time because of work and other things, so they can't follow that. So that's where if it fits your macros comes in, like, have your meal, and if you have to eat your next one in four, five, six hours, that's fine. As long as you get your macros in every day, and as long as you get your fiber in and your micronutrients in, you're good. So, yeah, guys, those are your my four tips to you new people that are going into a gym is your why. Why do you want to do this? Your motivation. What motivates you to do this? Um, three is your training. You know, I talked about you know how bodybuilding is like art. Find what works best with your body. And dieting. Obviously, I'm promoting flexible dieting. So find your macros, hit them, hit your micronutrients, and hit your fiber, you guys. So yeah, hopefully this video helped. A lot of you guys out um, and just seriously stick to these four and you're gonna make it I'll see you in the next one guys